Welcome to season 13 of the Abyssal Expedition. This is the season of the Dragon, and the reason I say that is if you didn't already know, the Highborn Draconis Gwen, she has the best possible comp by about three to four times better than any other option um, this round, so, and we all know how um, difficult she is to summon at the, this point which will make this season really interesting. So I don't have her, so this won't really focus on that, but in case you are interested, throw this team together. Key points here, make sure that Silas ults on Dragon, and all of the top guilds will have their own proprietary uh, recipe for this one to work out well. But basically you want this three star Rowan on both supports, and you're going for attack up, crit up, or CDA. So you stack this team up with those. And you could be looking at up to 80 or 100 billion damage. But anyways, here are a few comps using my suboptimal heroes. These teams will vary a bit per player based on upgrade or collection, so feel free to reach out if you need any substitutions. Overall, the Wagon Belinda comp should be the strongest for most players. Rosalind, Atheus, Awaken Belinda, Palmer, Lavatoon with Panda Pet looks pretty good. Atheus can sub with Damia, or you can get Jerome and Melian in there too. Ultimately looking at around 12 to 18 billion damage here. Next is the Twins and Mortis core. You are pretty open here, but Shuna seems to do well as the third support, and everyone should have her. While either Awaken Laika, Awaken Athalia, or Eugene take the one spot, and either Grezel or Tandra take the two spot. Depending on heroes actually used, this should range from 10 to 18 billion damage. Next is this team that I may end up reworking since it requires three max relics, but it does so well that I may save this for the last day and farm heavy or split off Lucilla and Liberta into a different team. We start to drop off a bit in damage now with these two teams potentially round out your bossing roster. Overall you should be looking at a similar total damage as last season, maybe a little more if you're rocking Dragwin and a little less if not. This season is fairly straightforward as there are no limited floating tiles etc to complicate things. The only advice I really have for the route the guild should take is to go south for the pearl first as the northern path has a T8 blocking it. You will want to utilize the water areas for essence gains and get both the totems before attacking the final boss. For starting pathing you can run Awaken Athalia, Awaken Shamira, Awaken Brutus, Alna with any of them for survival, and will likely want to run support or tank primary relic. You'll likely want to max both of these relics out by the end, so as so many teams are reliant on them, but focus whatever works best for the bossing teams you select. For new heroes, Awakened Iron seems to be a decent damage option, potentially adding a couple billion damage to one of the final two teams I mentioned. Aurelia is a good support hero, same with Misha. Even the newest one, Randall, is likely to make his way into a top 5 team, but I don't really have the ability to test them all with my account. Anyways, hopefully this is helpful and at least a moderately similar season to ones in the past. Good luck to you and hope you get a personal best.